Hey, how's it going? Back here over at our old base. Now, for the past couple days, we've been doing quite a bit of building over by the Red Obelisk. Our base is, for the most part, built. I mean, there's always some tweaking for us to do. But today, we're going to start doing a little bit of decorating, as well as painting, and trying to get some of our equipment set up over there. So, over here, I've got quite a bit of stuff kind of ready. I've got the smelter going. I had to take the Anki out to get some more metal. We need so much of that today. But we are building another forge. We're building another grinder. And then we need to get some water tanks made. We need to get a generator set up. We need to get the grill. We need to get the industrial cooker. And then we need a chemistry bench, some refrigerators, and a fabricator. That's kind of the goal for today. Get all that set up. And I also want to remember to try to grab. Let's do it now before I forget. Let's grab a bunch of this. Gonna need some for the plant species. I'm hoping to get that set up today as well. I did put some stuff into the bird over here, just so that I don't forget. The crop plots, dude. I would have got all the way back over there and forgot them. We're kind of shy over at this base now for resources. I need to bring all of our dodix and stuff back over here. Something I might do is probably off camera, go ahead and farm up another set of teams, right? For our harvesting teams. Maybe another Anki, another dodix, and get those guys set up. That way I have one over there. And one over here. Not sure if we'll put one up at the snow base. Not sure how big that's going to be yet. So we'll have to kind of wait and see how that turns out. So where are we at in life? We got polymer making. Hold on. That's 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 a little bit too much. Let's uh, turn that off for now. I overdid the uh, electronics by a little bit. I, I set them crafting and didn't pay attention. So I used up all of our silica pearls. I took the berry out. And everything is respawning. People are asking if I'm getting my... That's a parasaur. I was like, what is that in the water? If I'm getting my silica pearls to respawn or not, they do. Just extremely, extremely slow, man. Not fast at all. Let's grab some more paste. I think we're going to need some of the spark powder as well. Turn that off for the moments. So that's done there. Are you done as well? You are. We got some of that. Let's take this. We'll need that for... I think it's a chemistry bench. All right, so first thing is first. One of you. Hopefully just one for this base. If anything, we might need to put two of them out. Really wish they'd put a way to extend these. Kind of like the water taps. I've talked about it before. Let's make two of these. Let's make... We need four of the vaults. We're gonna need... Let's do the chemistry bench for sure. What are we missing for this? Oil! I'm gonna need some more oil. Holy crap, I totally forgot about oil. Do we have any... We should have some in here, I think. Oh, we got plenty. Oh, we got plenty, dude. We're good. We're heavy. Right into the wall. I like it. So let's take these and load up the bird as we get them, just so that I don't forget stuff. Should probably bring it a little bit closer over here. I didn't want to take down our tree. I hit it once, and it kind of went flapping all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of weird with the uh, rubber band physics, but it's still there. Now all the crop plots here for the plant species are full, so I need to check those and make sure they're still fine too. And then we got a lot of dyes to make up today. Holy crap, we got a lot of dyes. Oh yeah, the platform. Forgot how it kind of goes poof and pops back in. Now there's some changes with the industrial cooker. We'll talk about that once we get to it. Buddy, watch the beak, man. It's, it's sharp and pointy. But there's some changes they made to that. I'm kind of curious how that's going to work out in our favor or not. So all we really have left is the industrial cooker, metal ingots, metal ingots, and metal ingots. Ah, oh, dude, we might not have enough metal. Let's drop that in there. Let's grab the Argentavis. We'll see how kind of far along this is. It's still smelting. That might be enough. If it's not, I'll just run up and do one more harvesting run. There's some not too far from here. But we'll go ahead and play with the dyes and stuff while that's kind of smelting up and get that sorted out. I want to take the the paint gun as well as the paintbrush and try to use both of those today. And let's do something, man. One thing I keep forgetting. Junior over here is all lonely, man. <laughs> He's by himself. Totally forgot to move him back whenever I moved all the other creatures. There we go, buddy. Keep the Anki a little bit company. Keep him safe too, man. all this. Oh, he's still got stuff in his inventory, too, from... What is that from? Why do you have glass walls? Was that from building in there? I think so. Haven't done anything with the Argentavis in quite a while. 
Yep, hit the plant species going crazy already. Alright, let's drop you as close as we can to right here. It'll be nice once we get everything built up. For all the bases. And we don't have to worry about dragging stuff all over the place. But for right now, we just gotta kinda deal with what we have. And I'll have to come back, like I said, and do a little bit of restocking on this one so that we have stuff whenever we need it. Now, as far as our kibble making and stuff, I'm thinking about... Taking two of the UDs, like the eggs, hatch a male and a female, and keep one set here and then one set up there. And that's going to mean taming another one of the Orvoraptors. Not a big deal. They're just kind of, uh, kind of annoying, but we do got the UD eggs for that. Alright, so we're missing... Industrial Cooker. The grinder and the forge, and I think that's it, right? Gotta move the bird. Did I get water tanks? I didn't. We're gonna need a couple of those. We can make the forge. Let's do that first. You know what? Let's do the, uh... Should have done the cooker first. Oh, we need more polymer. So it's gonna be... Another 100 on the polymer. So roughly about 700 more on the polymer. Okay, I didn't overmake the polymer, so that's not too bad. Let's do... How much can we make? Not that. Gonna be missing some obsidian. Should have some more of that. Plenty. Let's just grab all of it for the moment. That is respawning as well up in the snow biome. Now, I did some checking. As you notice, I'm making polymer. It is still broke on single player for the penguins. They are not spawning. And look, dude, look, look. You guys keep telling me they're not on the icebergs checking the trees. One, the update said they're supposed to be back on the icebergs as well. They're not there. They're not anywhere in the snow biome. I literally flew in admin mode and checked every square inch of the snow biome. Everywhere. There is zero penguins at all. I've done three dino wipes. So I'm not too sure what's up with that. They really need to get it fixed, though, because, holy crap, dude, the amount of cement paste I had to make up. We are at a chitin, for the most part, I think. We've got around 2,000 left. Yeah, that's it. Not too much left, about 3,000. And we're out of that. Oh, I got some more here, too. Oh, I got the crystal, too. Okay, I forgot about this. That was going to be for our greenhouse build. Take all that, too. I think we needed some crystal for... I think it was a grinder. A couple stacks of that. I'll have to do some more farming in the artifact caves for that. It kind of sucks you can't get the Anki in there. So you have to do it all by hand with the pick. So there's that. So the polymer and then we're waiting on metal. Do we have enough metal? So that's going to be 1800 on the ingots. And then 3,200. Oh, dude. Might have to farm some more of that. So, let's get another one of the water tanks. Do we have an extra one? I thought we did from... Did we not pick one of those up? I thought we picked up the one on the back side over there. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Is it still over here? It's not. We need one for testing today. So with the Industrial Forge changes, they made it so that if you have more of the water tanks out, it'll actually allow you to craft more than 10 of one item. We don't. Let's grab a little bit of metal and we'll make one in the smithy. We only got 10 ingots left. We got that one there. We need to put out one more. That should be plenty for doing that. Of course, I'm too far from the bird. And they also made it so you can do the auto-craft for specific items. So, the way it was before, if you had auto-craft on, and you were trying to make, say, a little bit of dyes, or you're trying to make medical brew, and you had stuff in there for specific dyes, it would make everything, right? It would make some of the medical brew, but it would mostly make the dyes. Oh, there's metal in here. We got metal in there. So we might have enough metal. But now they got a door you can select, like, just your medical brew. 
and it'll only auto craft that. So I don't know. I haven't played with it yet. We'll have to wait and see. Let's make four of these. Take all those to the new base, and let's make up uh, one of these. Should be fine. I don't think we need to tap because we can actually drink out of the water tanks. That's still making those. All right, so the way that it is now, we have got. Where do I see the water on the set? I thought it was whenever you go up to it. Oh, there we go. So we got 10,000 on the water. Let's put out another one of the water tanks. It's, it's not staying there, it's just for testing. And now we still only have 10,000. Interesting! I thought that was supposed to go up. Maybe it provides more water for... the tank as it gets empty? I don't know, man. Not too sure how it works. So, what we're making today is a bunch of dyes. And I think we're going to be doing a lot of the, of course, the blue, and then the black as well. So we're going to need... Narco Berries and Stem Berries. Plenty of those. Take half a stack of you. Drink a little bit of water. There we go. And then we'll see about making the, uh, auto craft here in a second. Let's grab a stack of the Stem Berries. All right, so grayscale. So there you go. If you select the item, you can set the auto craft, and you can enable it, and it should only make that now. So that's not too bad, man. We'll make up quite a few of these. We need it for saddles, anyways. So let's make one full stack of that. We will. Well, hold on. How is the water. Maybe what it is, is... Okay, that's what it is. It fills it up a lot faster, right? So, it's replenishing the water pretty quick. Let's pick this up. It got down to 8,600. Oh, it's still refilling the same amount. Hmm! I don't know, man. I'm not too sure about that. I was told to put out more than one tank to help out with the, uh, the water issue. But it seems to be fine there. I don't know what the water level was before the update. Maybe that did change. But we'll take these water tanks just in case. I'm also going to want to do some of the blues for the dye. Now, I'm not too sure about the colors for the base altogether. We'll have to kind of see how that works out. I do want to do the ocean blue, though, on the glass. That looks kind of cool. Even though we have it for the greenhouse only, we might do that for the base as well. It kind of has a little bit of a blue tint. I might change that up some with just actual blue. The problem is I don't have all these berries over at the other base. It'd be kind of hard to make dyes. Maybe I'll just make up quite a few of each. And that way we'll have them for over there and not have to worry about it. One thing I do kind of miss is the dye maker from the S Plus mod. So, so easy to make dyes and stuff. And it kind of kept them all in one place, right? Had a really good conversion ratio from berries to... The actual dyes. Wait, did I already take some yellow? There we go. Alright, man, give me a few minutes. I'm gonna make up the rest of these dyes and stuff. Probably just make a little bit of everything. And then, hopefully by then, our metal will be smelted. I think our polymer's done, right? I always do that. I need to click the item before I... There we go. That should be plenty of polymer, so all we're missing is the... is the metal. I need to move this metal over from here, too. So I think for the most part, we're set. We should be able to make the cooker. And then all we're missing is some more metal for the grinder. We can always come back for that. Not a big deal. Let's make some lights as well. Are oh, they called Omni lights, right? Let's make up 10. That should be good. Now I'm hoping that one of the generators will be enough. Well, we should make a second one. Just in case, one at each side of the base. Let's do that, just so that we have it. Let's, um... Cancel all that. So we want one more generator. We wanted... The cooker. And then the lights. And let that run. That should be fine there. Like I said, we'll come back for that last thing. Oh yeah, I need some gas, too. 
Kind of need that for the generators. Let's grab some out of these. Expensive, man. Very, <laughs> very expensive day today. Take half of that. We'll split that into half in between the two. I can always make up some more. Probably need to farm a little bit more of the oil and stuff. So, I got pretty much all of our berries here. Our refrigerator, dude. Holy crap, man. I kind of cleaned out all the crop plots. And then this kind of got condensed down quite a bit too. Oh, yeah. Let's take some more of these. Now, here's a cool thing, too, about the autocraft. Seems that we want all the dyes. Just enable autocraft. And there we go. Get a little bit of everything. And now we can kind of test out what we want. Oh, we're still crafting. It's going to take a minute. But here's the other thing, too. I went ahead and picked up all of our dyes that we had. Totally thought they bugged out and we lost them. I forgot about the cosmetics tab. It's like zero weight on these, and you can have everything here. Now, I need to remember to clear this out, because if we die, or get robbed by a pego, all this will be gone. So, kind of a sad thing, but it's a good way to clean up all of our extra dyes. And that way, we can always test out what we want at our base. Now, a lot of these I'll never use again, but, I mean, it's fine, man. We were getting quite a bit of the berries stocked up as it is. Now, for the new greenhouse build, like I talked about, we're not going to have the berries and stuff. It's going to be just probably crops, because... It's easier to have them that way, and then we can always use a tame for grabbing the berries and stuff. Wouldn't mind getting something like a Bronto, something like that to keep over there. It's a kind of a big grass area, so it should be easy to farm those up. You guys done crafting? It's going to be a lot of... It's a lot of dyes. Tell you what, let's do... How much do we have of each? We've got quite a few. Let's let it do its thing. Like I said, I want to get rid of some of those berries. At least we'll have the dyes and stuff for later. So you're good for the moment. We got 500 left on that. I think it's like 3,200. We've got crystal, I think. Oh, we need some more polymer, too. What are we missing for that? Oh, nothing. We can go ahead and just make that. So that's going to be around 600 total. 700 we have, almost 800. And we need... So that'll be fine. Let that finish crafting all that up. Just need the metal ingots, and then about a thousand more on the crystal. We're good there. Let's go ahead and just drop it over here, so whenever I come back... I'm hoping to get it done by this video. I can just grab the metal with the Argentavis, and then make it up real quick. That should be good. That should be plenty. We're almost at a crystal. Definitely need to farm some more for the greenhouse build. Yeah, so just, what, roughly 25, 2600 on that. I'm hoping we got enough metal in here smelting up. That should be fine. That should be fine for sure. 2 to 1 ratio, that's 1,000 there. 1,500, might need some more. We'll see, man, we'll see. Not a big deal. We got everything out of here that we need. Let's grab the rest of our dyes. Need to grab the pink gun as well as... The pink gun. Let's just drop you. Yeah, I think we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Turn off. Or oh, making some medical brew too. Not a bad thing. What do they call paints? Coloring. Why can I not just search for the made-up stuff here? Gonna get overloaded with berries and stuff. I just want to take all the uh, all the dyes, man. Just want the dyes. Don't want the berries. So much, dude. Oh, it is so much on the dyes. So we're set for those for life. <laughs> we never got to make them again. I need to restack those berries into the refrigerator. Let's leave the narcotics as well as the fiber. We'll also leave medical brew. I think we're good on food. Let's take a little bit more. There we go, 144 should be fine. Alright, give you all of this. Dude, some of the uh, crop plots were out of, out of fertilizer too. All the, the crops on that side were like totally empty, man. Alright, so we have everything we need, right? Oh, the paintbrush, that's what it was. You and you. Not sure why you're in there. You're fixed now. 
Can I turn this off? Oh, it's right. It doesn't run on gas anymore, so it doesn't matter. All right, cool, man. So, I will see you over at the base. Probably could have taken the Argentavis. How are we on weights? 375. It's fine, man. It's fine. Like I said, I don't want to use the Argentavis as much anymore. I kind of want to use the Quetzal for stuff. The Argentavis is nice, but it just gets old using the same creatures over and over. But we'll get over here, and I think the first thing we'll do is set up all of the equipment. Now, I'm not too sure about the Industrial Forge and Grinder. At first, I was thinking to set the forge off to the side of our, like, our little overhang in the back. But we might put it right at the end. Just so that it's open. I mean, it's super tall, dude. We'll have to see once we get there. And the grinder should fit under our overhang. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Probably won't, but we will see. Dude, it's super hard to fly past all of the drops and not stop to grab them. It's like five or six of them I passed on the way here. Still trying to get a blueprint or a built long neck to help us out with taming. Haven't found any, man. Kind of disappointed. No better flax stuff either, but it's fine. Now, I did do a little bit of clearing out with the Dodic as far as, like, the big stones. Got rid of some of the trees. Now, they might grow back. I don't mind keeping the palm trees and stuff. It's the little, like, banana bushes I don't like, or the banana trees. Kind of like that right there. It's not a fan of it, dude. Those things right there. Super ugly. So, try to get rid of those. And I'm thinking maybe whenever we do our fence... I was thinking about kind of keeping part of this in the fence area. I planned on just doing up here, which we still might do. Bringing it off from this side of the base, on this side of that tree, and going that way. We might include some of this. Possibly, maybe. Because there are Trudons and... Pagos and stuff around here in the Dillos, right? So! Let's... I don't know if we need to remove the walls. Let's remove the walls just to make it easier. Whenever I did my testing, I had the walls out. And it worked perfect for the vaults. Oh, that's the, um... Okay. That was for the, uh... The generator. So we're still going to put the generator back here, but I think we might do it right here. And you'll see why in a minute once I get the vaults. Probably should have unloaded the bird first. At least all of the equipment and stuff is like super light. I mean, minus the vaults. I mean, it is a vault, so. We take all of it? Let's take that for the moment. I can't wait to get our greenhouse built because part of this is going to extend out on a deck and it'll be a little bit nicer for the uh, the entrance way. So for this, super simple. Try to get it lined up. Get it to where it sticks out just a little bit past the pillar. One there. Disable snapping. And one there. Oh, it's sideways. And that should work there. Now we should be able to put our walls back. Green side facing us. Nice little recess look for our vaults. I like it, dude. Oh, that is so nice, man. And with the pillars along there, we should be able to make some signs and put it at the top. For the, uh, the labeling. This one needs to come out, I think, a little bit more, right? Yep. We're too close to the wall. Let's see if we can actually put it in there with the wall. We should be able to, right? Nope, it doesn't want to. That's why I was trying to get it to stick out past the pillars. That way it's definitely past the wall. Wrong button. I'll test it out a couple times. Yeah, I think we're good there. Nice, man. Nice. That looks fantastic for the vaults. Now, we should be able to put this one down here and I think access the backside. If so, we can have the generator under there. Over a little bit. That should be good there. Well... So it needs to come out some. I need to see too. I think you can put the labels actually on the vault itself. Still in the wall. Interesting. Looks like it's further out than what it actually is. This one's off a little bit. Look, man, if I don't fix them now, you know this. It's going to bug me forever. Rest of my life, it's gonna bug me. 
Alright, so that should be good there. No problem with the, the wall behind it. Nice, man. Nice. So let's check out the label on this. So this is going to be for building. Does that not label the vault itself? Does it have to be painted for it to show up? I've seen before where it had the text on the front. Maybe that was part of S+. Plus. Because it doesn't actually label it anywhere here. I have to see. Maybe we got to actually paint it first. But that's the that's the vaults, dude. I like it. So we're going to have the building stuff. All of our gear and saddles. Then we're going to have... Well, we'll have... Resources. And then... Oh yeah, saddles are different from gear, I think. Is how I'm going to have it. We'll see. We'll see. It's not a, not a big deal right now. Can we access the backside here? We can. So we can put our... Generator under here. Take a look at something. Oh, that's under the stairs, okay. Let's set... You right here. That's actually not too bad. It's literally right behind... the vault. Now let's see the range. So we are gonna need to... Hmm. I'm guessing probably on this side over here, where it drops down. I mean, that's perfect for this side. Not too bad at all. Alright, so, is this a dome or a cone shape? It's a dome, okay. Need to remember that if we ever build up super high. Let's leave that one for the moment on. And for our other one... We might just do it right here. Because over here it gets kind of shallow. The other option is to put it at this end. Which, I mean, we might as well just do it down here. At least it's kind of covered up. Now for your range, as long as it covers the front, which it does, that's all that matters, right? They overlap. Plenty. So that'll work out. Nice, man. Nice. Alright, we'll change those out with some of the hidden doors on both sides. Oh, wrong button. Wrong way. I don't like that, man. I like the old way of it showing you the, uh, the hidden door before you place it. Makes it kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of hard to see. Let's go ahead and get some gas. We'll fill these up real quick. Oh, yeah, let's turn off the range, too. Yeah, it makes it kind of hard to see when you're placing it down. I know why they did it, man, because so many people were, I mean, including me, were placing down the secret door, forgetting you had that selected, and then making the rest of your base out of secret doors. It's a thing, dude. It's a thing. Let's take this. We'll do water next. Got crop plots. Can we carry everything? Barely. Slow moving, but it's fine. We'll drop some of this off in the vault. At least we'll have it all inside. I didn't grab... I did. I can set these out too. Things are super heavy. So, we're gonna have two of those up here. Enable snapping. We'll have one right there. And I was thinking... One right here. It should look fairly nice. Now, I did totally forget the seeds. Whenever we're going to go back to get the grinder, we'll grab those. But that's good for that side, and then... These are mainly for looks, for the most part. Out here, I'm not too sure. We might set up... One more foundation right here. Maybe one right here. We'll have to see. I'm not too sure exactly where I want to put the ones on the back side. Put half the gas in here, get that going. Close that. Never know it's there. I like it, dude. I like it. Like I said, man, I keep talking about it. We should really have some electrical boxes just to span the electricity range without having two of the generators. Turn off this. 
Turn on that. Where's our... Oh, I didn't put it up. There we go. That kind of... That's kind of uh, not too bad, man. It blocks off even with the vault. Little passageway. <laughs> I like it, dude. It gives me more of a reason to put our, our foundations on pillars and ceilings, just to have that stuff kind of buried, you know? For right now, let's go ahead and drop off two of these. We'll put them out here. And I'm thinking two more over here because it is the entrance to our dino area. That works there for the moment. All right. Yep, we're thirsty. We're hungry. Busy day ahead of us. So for this stuff, where do we want to start? Let's start on the outside because the grill and cooker are going definitely out here. I think I want the cooker right here. Make sure that's on the front. And then we'll have the grill directly outside. That works there. Could also do a plant species right here. Might be a little bit too much. Or let's do it right there. Might look kind of weird because that's right on the side. These are going to be for looks over here, so I'm not too worried about them attacking stuff. I think right there. That'll work. Really wish there were more plants in an arc for decorations. So, we got power. Let's see about some lights. Now, these are all subject to change, as always. Put one there. We'll put one... Right there. Just going to do it in the corners for right now. We can move them around as we need to. I'll try to clip to the thing sideways. Let's do that. I used to always set them at an angle because I couldn't ever get them lined up against the pillars and stuff. Or the uh, the walls. But now that they actually clip, that's kind of at an angle because of the wall, so that's fine. That one's in there. We'll do some up here to see when we're doing our dino stuff. I like how the dinos are set up in their own little, uh, kind of like a little house over at the other base. But this one, I definitely like having them right here. That way, if I'm doing the breeding, I'm super close to everything else I want to do. and don't have to run across the field to get to them, you know? So that should be good. Let's change all these to... Number two. And I don't know if we're going to put any up top. Probably not. These are going to change color. I might do the same thing with the peach, just because it's a little bit softer on the eyes. And I'm hoping this will be enough. We need to set some up outside as well. That should be good. Should be alright once we get the rest of them on. We'll see. It'll definitely be nighttime before we go, I'm sure. And we'll be able to test it out. And if we need to, we can always make some more. Now, the one thing I didn't make was a smithy. I did make a fabricator. So close, man. That one little leaf is kind of glitching in. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to keep that tree when I had to expand the base out some. So that's good there. And then... Might do two of them out here. How many do we got left? Exactly two. Might need to make some for the front doorway. And two more over here. Or, uh... One more over here. Nice, dude. Nice. We can actually see what we're doing. I like it, man. I like it. So, you guys left me comments, too, about how I have the front out here. Let me show you. So, for this, I know I could have used just triangle foundations or the ceilings, kind of like how we did right here. The same way. It's The only thing is, man, I wanted it to stick out kind of far. If I use these, it's super short, man. That's the only thing. It's not the same, same uh, depth as a full one. So, we might change that out later. And then, if I do the same thing in here, it'll allow me to put the railings down without having them stick out. I kind of like having it straight across, though. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's all subject to change, like always. Not too sure exactly, but we'll figure it out. As far as the cooking area and stuff, I think I want to put refrigerators right here. And then, oh, preserving bins. I need to make some of those. Let's start 
Oh, not right there. One here. And one here. I'll do two little preserving bins right there. That'll be for our jerky. It is so nice and have to worry about having those things clip in or out. We'll put the... Fabricator. Is that smaller than it was before? It's only one foundation wide now. Maybe, maybe it's always been like that? I don't know. We got this. Let's think about having this down here and then the smithy on that side. Can you not... Let's disable it. I want it to be in the middle. Let's back it up some. A little bit more inwards. There we go, man. There we go. Turn you on. I like it. This thing looks so nice. Wish I had some more lights on this side. Kind of like how they do with that. And then let's get some stuff together for a smithy. We should have what we need. Need some of this. Some of that. Not so much. I know we got some metal here. I don't want to take all this back. I want to be able to leave that here. What are we missing? Stone. You're hot? Is there a heat wave coming through? There is. So something I might do later on too, not right now because I'm out of a lot of stuff, is I might install AC in the floors. Just so that whenever I'm inside base, I don't have this issue with... Oh, you know what? They're loud though. They're not quiet. Like the S Plus ones. Hmm. I don't know what to see. I'm thinking about changing out my armor and just going with cloth a lot of times if I'm not going out to do something. Set you right there. Everything's somewhat in close range. Kind of. A little bit. What I might do too is... Oh, we don't need the uh, mortar and pestle anymore. I was thinking about setting one of those up next to the smithy, but we don't need it. So all we got left is... Let's do the water first. Probably set it up over here. Just so that it's out of view. And it'll actually feed the greenhouse too. So you're there. I need to show the range. We want the water tanks out here. We could do these underneath too, is what I was thinking. I was going to have one up top just for grabbing water for ourselves. See, I'm hoping to be able to put the grinder up here, but maybe not. Maybe we'll set some water tanks up here. So that is irrigated. How is the overlap? Just barely. It kind of works. Maybe one more on this side over here. I think this one will set up underneath... The foundation. We're thirsty again. Holy crap, dude. Did we not just drink? We did. I can't fill those up in there. You can't fill those up in the water tank? Oh, you have to do it with the button down here. You can't just press E on it anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. It's a little bit different. Let's set up one under here. We're not going to make it to where we can actually get under here again. And we've got the uh, the doorway right there, but there's no reason to get to this once we have it down. Let's see the range on this one. That should kind of cover the whole base up here. It does. So the whole base is irrigated. I like it. I like it. 
turn off the range on all these. And I think what we'll do is probably set out some foundations for the industrial forge. I'm thinking about removing these and just going out one plot for these, and we'll have maybe some stairs off to the side. Why don't we just do it over here? We don't really need stairs going down back here, though, do we? It's always nice to have them. Maybe we could just do it off the side here. This one is in the middle, I think, right? Exit's yeah, three deep here. Let's do that. Just change it sideways. Oh, you know what? Totally forgot we're putting foundations right here. So that'll work. There we go, man. There we go. I like it, dude. I like it. I'm not sure what we'll go down here for, but easy access. There is water down there. So it's definitely another way to get down that way. All right, so grab some foundations. Let's turn off. That one's off. Where? Right here. Thirsty again. It's a heat wave, dude. 134. That and running around doesn't help. At least water is so much easier. I was thinking that we had to have the water tank inside this bubble for the first one. It's like, man, that is so many you got to have there, but seems how you don't. Makes life a little bit easier. It's nice, too, in ASA not having to run around and have all the pipes everywhere. Dude, that was such a pain, man. Oh, it was such a pain. So we got 16 of these we need. Sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. To eight more. Point into weight. I like it. I know, buddy. Exciting times. We'll do four in each of these. Dude, I just want to place a couple of fertilizer down. <laughs> He's sitting there picking stones. There's a lot more crop lots out than I thought there was. Alright, we should be empty, right? We are. Fantastic. Alright, so... Let's grab some more water because we haven't drank enough today yet. That is nuts with the heat waves and stuff. Drop off you. Do we have foundations? We should. We do. We need three, six, I think it's nine, right? So let's do eleven. We don't need this. We are going to need some of those and some of these. We're right. Moving slow, but we are moving. I'll head back over here soon and check out for... Our metal and stuff smelted up for the grinder and grab our plant species. I really want to get those kind of going today. Please tell me I can put all these out here. We can't. We got to do pillars. I totally forgot. It's really offset on this side. We should have enough ceilings and stuff. I think. I hope. Possibly. Maybe. So for this, I'm probably not. Oh, you know what? It's going to be all super weird because... Well, we'll just set it in the middle. Not there. Because the footprint is a 3x3, three three, but we have an even number back here. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll do a 3x4. We need to have down some pillars. We'll do them at this side. Right, so that should work there. Oh, we can go back some. I was going to say, we'll go back a little bit so we're not... Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. There's plenty of room here to fly in with the bird. Just come right up to this. Let's, let's try to get it set somewhat in the middle, though. Again, if we could have a footprint on the ground, a small little outline of where we're setting something, it'd be so nice. Make sure we're somewhat straight. Line up with that. 
Go to the side. Exactly where it was. <laughs> it's fine. We're leaving it, dude. We're leaving it. So that works there. We'll go ahead. I'll get some more of the pillars made up. We'll attach these all out to the side. Put our border. We'll do some of the railings as well. And I will put some walls down there just to block it off. That's kind of set here. I'm really betting on the grinder fitting under here somehow. Maybe right here. I don't know how big it is. That's the thing. If anything, we can remove this uh, crop plot there. And maybe put it over here. Then we'll put the water tank right next to it. And we'll put the grinder all along that side. Actually, the water tank we can put right here. And then the grinder all right there. And it should work out. All depending. It's going to need what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. About fifteen more on the pillars. So give me a minute. Let me get that all kind of sorted out back here. I'll go ahead and move our stuff from up there into the proper vaults. We'll get some signs up. And then I'm going to fly over to the other base. Try to grab the grinder if we can. I'll grab the plant species. Then all we have left to do is try to start doing some painting. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of want to change the color of the wood. But at the same time, I want to leave it. So what we might do is just paint the bracing on the inside. I have to see, man. I have to see. All right, so I got good news and bad news. Good news is I got the grinder. Bad news is I had to take part of our metal from over here. So we're pretty shy. We got like 700 ingots left over here. And then I need to I need to farm it up over there and over here. So let's see how big the footprint is. We are going to have to change this around. Not a big deal. Kind of figured we would. We got all of the fertilizer too. Pick this up. We went from having a very bad heat storm or heat wave to raining. I mean, <laughs> it's the way that it goes, man. It's arc, dude. It's the way that it goes. Let's drop off these. We will give you one of those. We'll give you one as well. Let's put down our grinder. Can you not be weird? Here we go. Wait, come back. Right there, right there. Perfect, man. Perfect. Is it sticking out of the roof? It's not. Almost. There we go, man. Perfect. I like it. This is all done, too. I went ahead and put the... Well, I'll just show you. Put the walls on the sides. Got it bordered out with the pillars. I know we could probably just kind of connect this to that, but I wanted to be somewhat separate, and it looks better up here, right? You got a nice walkway coming all the way through the base. Goes right to the forge. Now, the original plan was to have that over here. But I think it would have looked kind of weird having just part of the forge accessible. You know, through that. So, I kind of like it there, man. You can see the full thing now. Especially once we paint it. Ah, dude, it'll look fantastic. Let's put our other plant species out. Seems how it just rained. Good time to have it start growing. Let's turn you on. And you on as well. Now, you should have water as well. You are irrigated. Plenty of room in this base, too. So much room. I did grab some of the flags and stuff. I want to put those out today. Not sure what we'll do with them. And then I grabbed these. Now, I do want to do some of the photos and stuff later on. We might just put the blank canvases up on the walls for the moment. Just for some decoration. We'll have to get the photo mode going and try to grab some snapshots of something. I think maybe we'll do some of the obelisks. Stuff like that. And then we got the two up here. Nice, man. Nice. Those should all grow up. Let's move you over some. Your tail is always in the way. Alright, so, where are we at in life? Preserving bin. I grabbed one that we had at the other base. And then we'll just make one more. Let's go just do it now while we're talking about it. What do we need? I think we need spark powder and I don't have any over here. That's fine, we can make some. And I grabbed a chair. <laughs> Just one that I looted. So this and that. Make some of you. This will be for our jerky for making our kibble over here and stuff. 
And then... What are we missing? Fiber, thatch, stone, and wood. Some fiber. A little bit of thatch. Tiny bit of stone. A little bit of wood. Just one. Brought the artifact pedestals, I think, for the dragon. I think it's four of them that we need. Yeah, but what we might end up doing is putting two on this side, and then two on this side. And I want to put some of the crop plots up there as well, I think. Not sure how that's going to look. We'll probably wait on those just because I need the seeds and stuff. We'll do that once we do the greenhouse. Oh, Junior, you're up here. I was trying to find somewhere safe for him to be not on the ground. So do one there. One there. Yep, I know you're fine. I'm gonna leave you there, buddy. We'll do two more over here. Now with having them spread out, it'll kind of be nice because we'll have the the ambient light from them, but it won't be too much. If you have too many of those all at one place, it's just oh, dude, it's kind of uh, overwhelming sometimes. I do like how we got the roof access up here too. Easy. There we go. All right. Preserving bin. We'll set out the flags. And then, the chair. There's somewhere I wanted to put a chair that looked weird. Gonna kind of cover it up. Maybe we'll put it up top here. I probably won't unlock these to build more because I get so many in drops, I usually just trash them. There we go, man. Watch the sunrise, you can see the waterfall. <laughs> it's nice, dude, it's nice. Then as far as the flags, I was thinking... I think it's some right here, but... Might look kind of weird. These are different than the ones in ASE. Try to put it... Want it right on the edge? Do it right where the pillar is. And we'll paint those while we start painting stuff. Do the same thing on this side. Easy, easy. Don't be weird. Let's do it from up top. There we go, man. There we go. That'll work out. Let's put this stuff over here with our building. You and you. And someone left me a comment, too. Didn't think about it. Let's do... Let's do a war map. I'm gonna need hide, fiber, and wood. And we'll put that on the wall covering up that one pillar that's sticking through. That's been bugging me. I gotta learn where all of our stuff is now, too. Let's make... let's make two. And that'll be enough for... putting up on the walls here, along with these. Like I said, we gotta get... I'm thinking since we have three, maybe we'll just do the three obelisk. I'll try to get the... the photos off camera, because I'll use admin mode to fly up there, get a nice picture, and then... I think you can save the photo... to in-game, then we can kind of paint those maybe in the next video. I need to play with this some, haven't really done anything with it. But that is perfect right there, man. Ah, dude, I like it. That's the same size. Oh, it's smaller. I forgot those are kind of tiny. I mean, it's not too bad. We don't need too much up on, on the walls down here, right? We got a ton of room here for stuff. I'm really hoping that the dermis and stuff... Now, there is some of the chibi... Like, little pedestals. Wait, what's it called? Display, right? Yeah, display case. So we don't have any chippies. I'm not doing the events. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not really happy with how the events are now mods. I don't want to play with mods right now. And that's the only way to get chippies at the moment is through the... the mod. So I'm not just... I don't know. We're gonna skip it for the moment. Alright, I think we're kind of set with everything except for the painting. Right? Right. So... Let's start off with... I guess in here? We'll do one of the foundations. Our billions of paints that we have. Wait, I want black. Okay, so you do that and you can't see your brush. That's kind of a... Uh, hmm, it's a thing. Let's start off with the brush. That way we can actually see what we're painting. Wait, this is a ceiling. 
All right, so let's turn this. Can I not? There we go. So there's that. That's a side. And that's the grout we don't want to paint. Let's try one and two. I kind of like that. Now we could do a little bit more of a gray color. Like this. And it's not quite as black. Let's do this. Let's do... You down here. You down here. One and two. Now for the grout, we could actually change that. If we wanted it a little bit lighter, like more of a whitish gray. See how it looks? We've got steel coloring. That might look good. And that'll be for this one. So you can kind of see the difference, right? This is more of a light color, that's more of a darker one. I kind of like this a little bit better. I think, right? Hmm. Let's try something. So we got... That's the first one. That's black. All the way black. With the default grout. That is... Wait, that's not even black, is it? That's the one with a different color grout, and that's the one just barely painted on the top. I think... I kind of want to do this one. Leave the grout its normal color. And just do all the brick this color. However, that darker does look good against the wood. I think we'll leave the grout nice and white with the default. So let's do this. Let's do... Is that black? That's shadow. Let's do black. So we're gonna want... Just these. And then we'll have to pick this one up. As well as this one. We'll place them back down. Ooh, the vault. And we're good. We're good? <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to pick the vault up. Gotta be careful, man. So that's one other thing with the new stuff with ASA. How if you pick something up, it doesn't break it anymore. It'll just pick up everything connected to it. So you could accidentally pick up one here, and it removes like three quarters of your wall. It's, it's definitely a thing, man. Give me a second, let me paint these. And then we'll see about the walls. Well, we'll just do some testing. These are the ceilings. I'm hoping it looks seamless. In between them. It does. So it does look the same. So that kind of works out. I've got a lot of these to paint. Let me get all the floors done. Then we'll come back and we'll see about the walls and the pillars. I kind of want to do them a little bit different. So that they stick out. Maybe we'll paint the walls. And leave the pillars normal. Because the normal is going to match the normal grout too, right? Alright, give me a minute. It's going to take... <laughs> it's going to take... Couple seconds to get all of these painted. Alright, so that's about done here. There we go, man. There we go. Not too bad, dude. Not too bad. I do like it. It's a, uh... <laughs> it's kind of, uh, kind of bright compared to the rest. So... Let's see about the walls now. They should be about the same. Let's go ahead and do the black coloring on those. Use a paintbrush. It's a little bit easier to see... How they look? Let's pick a wall up here. So for the wall, we've got... Two. I think just two. 
and one. Oh, you can do the inside and the outside different. That is fantastic, man. I like that. So you can have a different color on the outside of your base versus the inside. Hmm. So we'll do one and two. And then that's the wood. That's the grout. What is six? The bottom? Why would that be different than the rest? It's not. I don't know what six is. Oh, the nails. You gotta be kidding me. They got it down to the nails. See it right there? Different color? I mean, that's awesome. That's a uh, very nice touch, man. Again, I keep saying it. It's a little things. So we're doing one and two on this as well. Oh, I need... That's... Do a little bit and see how it looks. Let's just do a couple of them. I don't want to paint the refrigerator with this. These are going to be different, I think. We'll have to see. Maybe we're just too far away. It should be the same, right? It is. Does the paint not auto-refill? Why would it not auto-refill if you have it in your inventory? Just saying, man. Just saying. Let's do these. We'll go outside, take a look and see how it looks. That was kind of weird. I don't want to paint the ropes. Alright. How do we look? I think it looks fine, man. It'll look good with the, the roof, right? Because the roof has a different... different color. Why does that one look like it's painted all the way through? Might have to pick it up and see. Oh, you know what? I'm not doing one and two. For the color fields. Whenever I refilled it, it didn't do... Wait. Are we just supposed to do one? Field one on those? It's not going to do the inside though, right? So that's kind of backwards on this one. Field one does all of it. Field two does the grout as well. I have to fix that. But if we do the rest of it like this. Leave the pillars like they are. They also have a border and stuff, right? The other option is to paint the pillars and leave the walls like they are. That might actually be better than painting... ...the walls. Again, let's do some testing. We'll do it right here. Let's do the paintbrush. So we got field one... ...and four. Four is the grout, one is the pillar itself. So let's do this. I'm really leaning towards... Leaving the walls and just painting the pillars. Because I should be doing it around here to where there's actually walls to look at, you know? Not sure if I was in the way. <laughs> or the plant was in the way. Let's do this as well right here. Actually, I kind of like that, man. Just paint the borders. Leave the rest gray. Again, man, I don't hardly ever paint my bases. I'm just trying to do stuff different. Especially with the ASA, having all the different fields and stuff. I think it'll look kind of cool. Please! I just want to reach the pillar! Do it from the inside. Sitting here jumping, it's like head height here. Do just this, this one side so we can take a look and see how it is. That looks super weird. Not gonna lie. And I left all my soap back at base. Hmm! So we got that side, let's... Double check over here on the walls again. I do like the floors. The floors look good. I like it, man. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and leave the pillars. 
Stone color. While we're testing, while we're testing, maybe we want to do the pillars as well. That might be too much of a contrast having them left. I think just maybe having just a grout left. Why have I got to be so close? I know it's a spray spray paint, but Junior, please, there we go. Holy crap, man! Got to paint these lights here soon too. I, I mean, not <laughs> not black, dude. I want to get the I can't get the pillar because that's in the way. Should we leave that border? No, because it's gonna look weird on the outside if we leave that like it is. I think the whole thing painted looks good. Maybe the sides here. Just the corner posts. We'll leave... the normal look? And the doorways? Need to change this to... Oh, just one. For those. That might get kind of sketchy whenever we start doing stuff like this. Because the black is going to bleed through on some of the pillars. Like this one, right? Part of it kind of clips down in. So it looks weird. So if we're going to do the pillars, we got to do all of them. I think that's fine. Alright, give me a bit. It's getting late in the day, right? It is. Getting kind of nighttime. The lights, I think, are good in here, right? Plenty of light in here. We might not tone them down with the paints. Then again, we might. Is this one on two? It is. Seems a lot brighter. Oh, it's because we have... Oh, the black paint. Kind of helps with the shine. See how bright that is reflecting off the wall? It's kind of toned down. All right, man. Give me a minute. I need to go to the other base. I need to grab some soap. And then... I need to paint all this. So I will see you in the morning. We'll see how it all kind of looks. I hope it doesn't look bad because holy crap, that's a lot of soap to fix everything. A lot of soap. Alright, so where we're at in life is, I went ahead and changed the walls to where they're blue. It was just, it was too much black, and I'm leaving the pillars just a normal natural color. Let's pick this up. Actually, that'll be fine under there. But there's a couple places we got to fix because... I didn't have ceilings down. Not the ceilings, but the walls, and the paint kind of me messed up. Kind of see right here, right? So, I painted the outside, but it also did the top. So those are two we got to do... The walls on the outside, and there's two more up here. Right there. So let's grab two walls. We'll try to fix that real quick. Only got one. Need to make some more. Let's paint that. And these. The sides here. Not worried about under the stairs. It's fine because that's part of this. I don't want to have to put more of the... Walls down. It's not too bad, though. I kind of like it. Now, we are painting the glass as well. I think we're going to do just a regular ocean color. And I need to do... I think the floor is done up there, but I didn't do it all the way through. I think I just did the top side. I guess you can paint the bottom as well. And we might paint the bottom different because we actually see that down on the underside. Maybe we'll paint it blue. We can reach from down here with a paintbrush. Oh, let's do the walls first. Let's, let's do this in order. I'm going to forget the walls. It's going to bug me forever. Let's leave some of that. A little bit more of this. We're going to need three more walls. Not those kind. Then I still don't know about the labels, man. Might have to just put signs up on top for our vaults. I think the vaults we might leave just the normal color. Head out here and do this real quick. I think it was these. Oh, I need to do the front part too. Side ones here. Can I not? There we go. So we'll paint this one blue. And then black on the top again. Do this other one as well. I think it's... Actually, we shouldn't be able to see it through because that one's a corner. The other one is... Only a little piece sticks out. Oh, you know what? It's going to be the same thing here, right? Yep, these are getting painted blue. Hmm! 
Gonna need a couple more walls. I do like how you can kind of mask these over it, though. It's kind of, uh, kind of nice. We're gonna need one, two... Three, four, five, six more of the walls. Let's see if we can actually fix this now, too. Oh, it's not. It's gonna be one right here. It's gonna be seven. Quite a few more walls. Hmm! Gonna need... A little bit of you. A little bit of you. And some of you. A bit more stone than we need for that. So yeah, I don't know, man. It was- it was too much with the black and all. So I think with the blue and stuff, it'd look good. Now, you know me, man. If I'm gonna do something a different color, it's gotta be blue. The only way to do it... And then the pillars being the normal gray color, kinda breaks it all up some, right? So it's not just too much... <laughs> it's not too much color all in your face. Now, before we get done, I do wanna try to check out the... The beams. I don't know what color I would do them. Maybe we'll try to take a look at a different, uh, kind of shade of brown, right? Leave them brown, just maybe a little bit darker. So there's eight of those. That should be plenty. So we need to do the very front one up here. On this side. I thought we did that one. Nope. That's still the, uh, the bigger blocks. Can you please stop clipping to the wrong... There we go. I paint you. That went up way too tall. I don't want the greenhouse. I want the stone wall. It needs to clip down further. It's not going to want to because it's too far down into. Well, that one's going to be black. Won't be able to see it because of the grass. Let's do black paint. This is why I don't do too much interior decorating. Dude, I will lose my mind if I have to do this all day. Alright, so those are fixed. And then these... ...are fixed. Need to paint the outside midnight blue. That's the, uh, that's the color I'm using too, is the midnight blue. Looks fantastic, man. Oh, it looks so nice, dude. Alright, so there's those. Those are black under here. I don't care, though. That's fine. You can't see them because of the stairs. We'll put down... Those two, though. Paint them blue. Then all we have left is the other two over here. Which will be... These front ones. One there. Oh, it's one on the side over here. One there. Alright, so... Paint the other one's black, and then I think we're done painting. I mean, for the, uh, the bottom parts. I still want to take a look at the wood. There we go. Nice, man, nice! Now I'm sure there's a billion pieces that I've already forgot to do. Like, right here behind the... chemistry bench. I'll have to look off camera to make sure <laughs> I get them all. I'll see it in editing. I see mo so much stuff in editing that I forget during videos. Oh, that's gonna be the... only field one. I'm almost out of soap, dude. I've gone through so much of it. There we go. I think we're kind of set. And this is all the same way. It's got black on the top. And then the walls are blue. And the borders are... The normal color. What are we missing? I think that's it. Alright, let's do the glass. Oh, I wanted to see with the glass, too. Seeing how we got the paintbrush. What fields they have. So we got field one. Is the frame. I think the frames we might leave... Do we want to paint the frames blue? Or black? Black would match the floor. It would just look better, I think, than having... Having that gray there, because it doesn't match the same color gray as... Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll do, with the, uh, we'll do it a different color gray. Let's do it with the shadow color. That's gonna be fields one. One, two, three. Five. Wait, what color is hold on, let's do something. Let's put this down here. What color is the glass? 
color, the glass color is going to be five. So one through six, we can do the shadow color. No! Not that. That looks good. That's a whole frame. I have to build my scaffolding again to get back up there. Yep, I can't reach it. I was using one of my, uh... My ceilings. Let's just do... The ocean real quick. And that's gonna be field five. I don't know. It's kind of weird because of the rest of the glass, right? It'll be fine, though. It'll be fine. Get all this paint. It's a ton of glass. If I don't like it, I can always change it. It's only one field to change. But it looks better than the normal kind of dark gray look. Has a little bit of color to it. All right, man. Let me get this done. So, field five on all the glass, and then everything else is going to be the shadow coloring. And then we'll take a look at the borders. We do got brown, right? Terracotta. Kind of the only brownish. No, we got some here. Bronze. Bark. Bark might actually look good. Well, look at that. Either the bark or the terracotta. I think bronze is going to be too orange. Got mud. It's a little bit too... I don't know. It's going to be a wrong color, I think. It'll look too much like, uh... <laughs> too much like mud. Terracotta might be a little bit too much on the orange, too. We'll see. We'll see. I got a, uh... I got a ton of windows, dude. Ton of windows to do. Alright, so the windows are complete. Not too bad. I like it. I like it. The uh, frames look good with the glass painted too. I like the uh, the shadow color better than just the gray. Gray was just too much. Different color than the pillars, so. Had to take off half my armor, dude. It is so hot around here, man. It's another heat wave. Up to 130 again. Not too sure what's up with the temperatures, dude. It is way too much with the heat waves here. So, let's... I was thinking, should we get up on the roof? Let's just grab a piece of my scaffolding. We'll set it up. Right there. Let's do two of them. Could we, could we go up, please? See? There we go. Alright, so. Check out these other colors. We'll start off with the terracotta. Let's do this one, of course, first. Find out what color fields are what. No idea what what uh one is. Two is gonna be the wood in between the shingles. Four is gonna be four is the field we're looking for. Five is that side. Six is the underside here. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So four. That's not too bad. Grab some water. We're dying. Let's, um, turn this off. Let's help with a heat wave. Alright, so that's terracotta. For the underside. Let's take a look at... What was the other one? I think it was this one. Wait. Not bronze. Bark. That's what I was looking at. Bark. So there we go. That's more the brown color I was looking for. I think that would be kind of good. Paint the, all these inside here, that, and then have the shingles a normal color. Right 
right? Just to have the border stand out a little bit on this. I don't know what other color we would do it as, right? I don't like coming in there because the colors are different order than right here. I didn't like the terracotta. It has too much of like a red color to it, you know? And anything else is going to look super weird because of the wood. Now the other option, the other option, let's pick these up. Cheaper than using the soap. The soap is super expensive. It costs polymer to make them, dude. Holy crap, man. I've used up pretty much everything that I looted out of drops. The other option... ...is to do this. And this. See, then the whole outside's painted. That looks a little bit too weird to me. You know, too much paint. Good different contrast. I think we'll just do this. And that's field four, right? So let's do that. I'll do field four with the bark color. And that'll be just the uh just the railings themselves. Alright, man. <laughs> Give me another five hours, I will be back. And that should be all the painting for today. I have all that I can take of the painting, man. Holy crap, dude. It's a lot. Best way to paint the roof. I didn't think about it. Come to the top, and then you can just kind of go over all the fields, or all of the uh, tiles, instead of building scaffolding on the inside. I didn't think about it, man. The paint goes all the way through, as long as you don't paint your pillars. Not sure if that painted it, but yep, it did. Say, but we'll go ahead and fix it. Just double check, that should be good. Let's land up here. Almost forgot these over here. I think I had to change my paint out. One thing I don't like is whenever you run out of paint and you refill it and you come back, all the uh, region fields aren't selected. You have to kind of change them back. Let's get some wood to put up here in our fires before we go. We'll double check that we've actually got all of the roof. We should have. I like it, dude. I like it. It kind of uh, makes it stand out. The color fields are fantastic on all the new parts. I mean, all the way down to the nails, dude. That is crazy how they have that. Did I get all of these? We did. Now, the wooden pillars, I'm going to leave just like they are. Not going to worry about painting those. Ah, dude, it looks so nice, man. Oh, we got to paint our that and that real quick. Drop this wood off. I think for, like, the refrigerators and the fabricator and stuff, I don't want to paint those. They should stay the same color that they always are. So, light you. Because we don't have heat problems, right? <laughs> I like the way it looks, dude. I like the fireplaces, man. So I want to have the nice base built up in... ...the snow biome. Have a lot of the fireplaces going and stuff. So up here is done. Not too bad. Windows are painted. The frames are painted. We'll get some more furniture set out here sometime. And then down here is done as well. All we have to do is... Let's make some signs. Do we need... I think we need charcoal for the signs, right? We got metal ones. Let's do metal signs. Is that made, I'm guessing, over here? So paste and ingots. Oh, we got charcoal too. Some ingots, not much. Not much. Just a few of these. Don't need that much paste either. Need to go rob the beavers here soon for some more paste. There was none of them around. I was trying to get stuff ready for today's video. So four of those should be fine. Hopefully they don't look too bad. I do like how the wooden ones look, but... Let's see how these are. So... Change you. Put you right there. That is super tiny, dude! Can you change the... You can't change the text, either. That's not even worth putting up. Is it like that with the wooden ones? I don't think it is. Wait, I think we have them unlocked because we did the metal ones. That's wood fiber.
I don't think the the writing is that small on the wooden ones. This one's gonna be gear. Why is it so small? Can I not make it any bigger? <laughs> I'm not even gonna mess with these, dude. That is terrible, man. Demolish it. I'm not worried about it. I know it's gonna be where. It's gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna have resources here, our gear there. That sounded terrible breaking. Then we've got our saddles and stuff like that, and then all of our building stuff here. So it's kind of simple to to remember. Copy you. So go over in the building. Then let's do the last thing before we go. That's gonna be painting this and that. Paint it in the rain, man. Horrible. Hopefully it's an oil paint. Let's do. I need the black again. Black and then the kind of silverish blue that we had on the other base. I like that. Not you. So that's. That's. And then just. That's. What blue was it last time? It was a sapphire, I think. Oh, wait, was it? I think it was this one. I think the sapphire was the one that was too bright. There we go, man. There we go. Turn it on. Dry it out. Let the paint dry, man. It is raining. It'll help it out. <laughs> not really. I know, dude. I know. Not really. So this one, and I think it was just one more field, right? Yep, that. Oh, and that. Then we'll do black. Hello? There we go, that's done too. Water tank can stay. That's fine. That's fine. Gonna leave the vaults the normal color. What is this? It's that... Raw meat I threw out. Something else I'm not too crazy about is when it rains outside, everything gets the shiny texture too, instead of just the part that's outside, you know? I couldn't reach it. I forgot about whenever I had the scaffolding to do. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. I want to paint the under part blue. We should be able to do that from up here. Normally I fix all this off camera, but. Again, the longer videos, that's what they're here for, so I can actually do stuff fully while we're on camera. So it's going to be just field four, so we can do that with the spray gun a little bit faster. Oh, they could change a grout. I don't like that at all. Let's... Double check real quick. Let's see. Yep. It's gonna mess it all up, man. Ah, oh, dude. We're gonna leave it the, uh, normal color then. Do I have the soap on me? I don't. Why would you make that the same color as a grout? I mean, it's a ceiling, so I kinda get it, I guess. Can I reach you? We see the soap. I mean, it's raining outside. It could be bath day. Just saying. Just saying. Wait. No. There we go. And then we're gonna need black paint. Such a hassle, man. I should've just... I <laughs> should've just left it. Get that paintbrush back out. Dude! I just want... That. We're never touching it again. It's fine, dude. It's fine. Oh, man. Finally. So the base isn't too bad. Let's get on the bird, which is up top here. 
And we'll do a quick aerial view. I know it's raining, but I want to see how it looks. Sun's coming out, though. It's not too bad, man. A little bit better. I don't know what I want to do on the, the canvas. I think we can put posters up on those. Maybe whenever we do the posters on the inside with the photos, we'll do something out here with these. But for right now, it kind of works because it's a light color, right? Matches with the uh, the pillars and stuff. Paints aren't too bad. Kind of changes it all up. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. We finally got moved in. I will try to do some resource harvesting off camera. I'll get some more metal smelting up. Get our wood and everything restocked. I'm not sure what we'll do in the next video. There's a lot we need to get done. We need to get some tames over here for our utility tames. We need to get the UDs moved over. We need to get our kibble going over here because I don't want to go to the other base for doing our taming and getting our stuff. I want to do it over here. Now we still got to build the greenhouse and our wall and stuff. We might take a small break in between building and do something else. Not too sure. Kind of see how it goes, man. All depends on how I feel. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked our base painting and decorating today. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.